Hey guys, uh, occasionally some of you guys stop by live streams and tell me stories about how you got your first dev job and, you know, say thanks and congrats and what worked for you, what didn't work for you. And Henry here showed up on one of the live streams that we do weekly, which, by the way, stop by. It's a lot of fun. Well, uh, answer your questions or talk about my life a little bit, what's going on, what cool stuff I'm doing, what bad stuff has happened to me. It's a, it's a fun time. Uh, and with that, I said, hey, Henry, what do you mind sending me an email? Do you mind just, you know, hollering at your boy and, and giving an update? And he sent a very detailed update here. And what I'd like to do is actually just read it to you, share it with you, and then share some of my thoughts. I'm also going to have Henry come on to the channel and do a live stream. So if you have any questions that you'd like to ask him, go ahead and put them in the comments below. And I'll make sure that he gets them and I ask him on the, the live stream. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you're interested in checking out a bootcamp where they include housing with the tuition so you can get up and go, might I recommend Dev Mountain. They have multiple locations. Not only that, they have programs in QA, full stack web development, UI, UX, and iOS development. Check them out for more information at devmountain.com. All right, let's zoom in a little bit here because I'm getting old. So, hi Dylan, I do hope you're managing well and taking care of yourself. Working on relationships is always a challenge, but it's something that can be very rewarding when they all come together. For those of you who don't know, I've been uh, reading some relationship books. Uh, so I actually just finished The Five Love Languages, as well as The uh, Men Are From uh, Mars, Women Are From Venus, which will actually be coming out this week, the book review. And I got another one lined up here that's recommended which is uh, what makes love last, how to build trust and avoid betrayal. Anyhow, so we're going we're going in, trying to learn uh, communication and relationships as a technical skill to a degree. <laughs> but uh, I guess to start things off a bit about myself, born and raised in Melbourne, Australia, for the majority of my 20s, I've done a lot of things from starting various businesses. I've learned a great deal from the mistakes to work in retail sales, such as telecommunications and, and banking and dabbling in trading the stock market for a period of time. Going back to 2008, about two years ago, I was wrapping up a job in an accounting firm and lo and behold, I really did not enjoy it at all. Being 28 at the time, I was definitely frustrated having done so many things and feeling lost to a point where I was going to be living a mediocre life. Now, some people think that you have to start learning to code at like eight. It's not really true, right? Henry here's 28. I didn't start learning to code until I was like 25. Um, I didn't get my first dev job until I was like 28, I think, exactly. So after a couple of days of wrapping up the job at the accounting firm, I, I somehow ended up getting into a rabbit hole of coding. And I remember the video I was watching at the time was your story from being a piece of delivery guy to becoming a software engineer. Now, prior to that, I always had the notion that you had to be a certain level of intelligence, kind of like what I was just talking about. Like the kids started coding at the age of five, being able to write your own Facebook or something like that. But after hearing what you did, I thought to myself, if Dylan can do it, I can do it too. I'm just an average dude like everybody else, right? So then I started following your YouTube channel at the time, and there was a recurring theme about the content coming back, pointing out starting starting point to learn at freecodecamp.org. Still highly recommend it to this day. So in July 2018, I decided to start my journey with Free Code Camp from writing my first HTML and CSS code. I was hooked. I remember during during then I was able to get my my web design certification one month after after starting. At the same time, I started a new job working as a banker for a big Australian bank. Straight after the web design certification, I then met JavaScript. And while this was my journey to take my career transition became serious. Really, when you start diving into JavaScript. That's, and frameworks and things like that, that's when you start to really get into development, in my point of view. During the first six months of learning to code at night and going to my day as a sales banker, it was tough, and I thought, and to think you're going through the learning journey on your own, it was hard not being able to bounce the learning concepts of object-oriented programming functions and even the whole DOM side of things with JavaScript. Apart from watching a lot of your content on YouTube, slowly getting my more familiar uh, through repetition of watching the content trying to write the, the code. During the time, I came across Team Treehouse during... During, uh, I thought to myself, a lot of during the times, so I, I thought to myself the content seemed really good, so I ended up going through the JavaScript track, which involved a lot of coding alongside tutorials and going through the quizzes. I also made time to really network with the tech community here in Melbourne. I think at the time I remembered you mentioned the importance of networking within the tech scene. 
It's very important. If you're lucky enough to have meetups around your area, I highly encourage you to take advantage of it. And during that time of 2018, I was able to meet a lot of cool people. More importantly, developed a really key relationship with a sales software developer, which would be key towards the later parts of my journey of learning. That network, meeting people, showcasing your skills, and really just having a good time, right? 2019 this year, I thought I was going to become a software dev. For the first half of 2019, I decided to do the Team Treehouse tech degree in JavaScript. During that, I remembered it, it, there were many buzzwords to get thrown around the meetups like React, Vue, Node, and all that. But one thing that people always told me was it was really good at JavaScript, and I was still working at banks, spending my evenings learning how to code, working a full-time job while doing this, right? It's not like you have to be completely, you know, you got to drop out of work and, you know, do it, grind grind your life to a halt. When I was gearing up to start applying for jobs outside the bank for software dev roles, one of my friends told me the bank was going to be starting a reskilling program to take existing banking staff and put them through a coding boot camp straight, for, straight to get placed for our software team. At hindsight, to me, that looked like the best opportunity to take up. So in, up until June, I was waiting for the opportunity of assessments to open up. But like any big enterprise, it never happened. And it was at some point where it got to October. And to, to sort of harp on this, it's always good to consider options that are directly with your current employer and things like that, but you don't want to ever be married to a single thing. Otherwise, if that falls through, you've wasted a lot of time and energy while, you know, you, it could be one of your options. So keep that in mind. During then, I was still learning self-teaching through various Udemy courses and getting my head around JavaScript. Coming to the end of 2019, I was reflecting on where I was and felt that working a full-time job and learning to code during the evenings, for me, was very suboptimal. So... I, I learned to code while working a full-time job, but not everybody can, right? Um, some people have to give it up. Some people have to do it, but it's definitely possible either way, but everyone learns different. That's why I didn't succeed in college, right? So 2020, starting this year, I thought back to myself in January that this is a do or die situation, perfect mentality to have. You have to be all in when you're doing something like this. Um, a do or die situation to get a sense of urgency. I decided to stop my banking job to do to to drop my banking job to part time and only working four days a week. I started a three month software development internship at a management consulting firm where I was part of the project in developing an online learning platform, the labbook.io. And at that time I decided to do part time coding bootcamp with Luigon.com, coming to the time of March where I was primed to make the move to become a dev with the fir firm with the firm, then COVID nineteen happened which itself was okay, given everything that was going on at the time. By the time going through the boot camp for six months, spending my Tuesday and Thursday evenings and all day Saturday was really accelerating my learning and skills. So it's okay to teach these things on your own, but if there's resources that you think will help you, take advantage of them. It's interesting going through the boot camp the way I was learning, even approaching problem sets, uh, even pr approaching problem sets coming together and just being able to go on the journey. Of course, while we were on lockdown from where we are and limited number of opportunities to really network with the fir people for the first half of 2020, I was fortunate to build a network of friends in the industry for most of 2019. Fast forward to June at the end of my bootcamp, me and my friends in the cohort managed to put out some amazing projects. And here's the link for project me and team. And I'll include links to these things in the description. After I wrapped up for my bootcamp, some interesting turns of events happened. The friend I met back in 2018, who was the senior sales developer, again, networking, just so happens to be CTO of a health tech startup. And during the past two years has helped me out on this journey of interview preps, career mentoring, and EQ. We reached out to me and asked if, there, if I was keen to go for an interview with the company of his as a junior uh, dev. And given I had been rejected 20 times from various online applications, I put forward and I said, hell yes, let's do it. This was a two-part interview process. First being an informal Zoom call, and the second was a technical take-home project. The interview process was fairly straightforward, and I worked my house to make sure. Just submitted the project, and three days later, I got a message, I got the job, and I was starting in four weeks' time. Take-home projects are one of the best ways that I think test junior developers because they really give you a chance to excel um, and see where you're at. Looking back in the past two years of this journey, which has both been life-changing and meaningful, and having worked in the job three weeks, and it's amazing how learning doesn't end, and, but there's this whole mountain ridge ahead of me of getting to a senior level. But getting up in the morning to go to work for a big change, for me, for me, sure the money is good, but I think being able to 
uh, find joy in what you do is so key. I probably rushed a lot of the last bits, but you know that you know my journey better than most people, Dylan. As always, thank you for putting this out there, sharing your journey. More importantly, being an inspiration to all the go-getters. Being 30 now and starting a career is definitely an amazing. Thanks again. So lots of stuff going on there. Tried a few things, right? Say, so, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to work full time and learn. And, you know, Henry goes, I've been doing this for a while. It's not working for me. All right, let's change something. I'm going part time. And this is where, you know, my money's going to be changing. My lifestyle is going to be changing. I got to go all in. Has that sense of urgency. Understands. There's no, there's, there's no chance for failure. There's only success. And it's just a matter of time of, of to getting there. Um, you know, going to meetups f for two years, right? Making those connections, meeting people for, you know, opportunities and, and relationships. And, you know, some people get weird about going to meetups. You don't go to meetups to go and get jobs per se. I mean, you can, but like you go there to meet people in the industry that you're interested in to make connections and who knows what may happen with it. Right. So, you know, these everybody's journey is going to be different, right? Um, I don't know what the Australia market is like in the, in the dev world. Maybe it's not, it's probably not the, it's probably not as strong as the American market. There's probably less opportunities, but there's always opportunities if you work hard and look hard, look a lot. And it's, it's nice to see that Henry is able to succeed. So um, if you have any questions for Henry, I'm gonna have him on the channel, talk a little bit about it. And I'm gonna try and share, I think I'm gonna start a series of like success stories where whenever you guys send me an email about your success story, what happened, where it went, I, I really want you to you know type it out. Just type it out, I'll read it out, I'll, let, I'll share it with people, make sure everyone's on the same page. Cause so often people feel like they're an outlier. And the reality of the situation is that you're just like everybody else. You're working hard, you're trying to accomplish it. And these are the things that some make good decisions, some make bad decisions, some never get started. And I, I truly believe that most of us, if not 99% of us that want to be software engineers can be given time, effort, and energy. And if you have those three things, you'll be very successful like Henry was. So um, Henry, good job. Congratulations on your first dev job um, about four weeks in by the time this video goes out. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll, we'll talk about four years from now when you're a senior dev and how your life has changed. And um, more than anything else, being happy. Money's great. That lowers your, your stress levels. But more than anything else, being happy <laughs> with your job puts you above like 70 or 80 percent of people who hate their job. And um, I think a lot of us have hated a job at one point in time. And if you've never had the opportunity to love a job, uh, then you don't know what the other side of the coin is. And um, once you feel that, you'll feel that's when you sort of get to the point where like all that all those sleepless nights, all that grinding, all that, you know, giving up your weekends and saying no and saying yes to the right things. That's when you're like, I made the right decision. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much. If you're interested in any of my courses, there are links in the description below. Check them out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.